No. No? Was that, was that just like your conscious decision from the start? I think it was just a personal decision more so. It's, I mean, people say it's only two hours away, but at the same time, I didn't want to have to, you know, For a fun model. casting. It's... Yeah, exactly. To go to a casting and then to spend, I mean, I personally take the bus. I find that train to be expensive. Mm -hmm. I will, you know, I'll spend the $50, you know, go on the bus or whatever. But it's like, that's for a casting. Like, I don't know if I'm going to get this casting and yeah. how many times am I going to have to take this bus before I finally book a job. Mm -hmm. And if I do book a job, how much is like, what kind of job is it? Is it going to be worth it? Yeah. Or am I going to get a tank top at the end of it? I mean, I can go buy a tank top at H&M. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sounds quite mean. You don't have to spend mean, $200. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So essentially it's like, okay, I booked a job, but I got a tank top that's worth like $200 because that's how much I have to pay for my transport to get here. Yeah. So personally for me, it was just wasn't worth it. I'd just rather stay home. I'd rather like be with my friends there and then just travel during the summer. So it was like a nice mix. And now it's, now I am going to model full time for a little while to see, I guess it's, uh, this past year for school was kind of rough on me. I just really wanted to be done. And now I just really want to travel and I guess meet new people, new cultures. I'll, this is going to sound super cheesy, <laughs> like so, like Keech almost, but my mother, like, my family doesn't come from a lot. Like, we immigrated to Canada and we were, like, very, very poor. And my mother's dream was to travel. In fact, she just told me today she wanted to pick a stewardess. And um, she always wanted to do that. And then she always tells me that, like, every time I go somewhere, she's living vicariously through me. Like, I studied in Singapore last year. I was on an exchange. And I'm all there at the same time. My mom came to visit me. And she loved it. Aww. And she loves it more than I do. So I would say it's funny because I'm like, mom, it's like you're like the model that never was. Like there are times when I'm like, I would swap places with you in a second because I think she would like this life more than I do. Yeah. Do sure. you like traveling? I do like traveling. I like it a lot because I, li I like to see like new places, experience like different cultures. It's, I think that for me has always been like the biggest reward. Everyone's like, oh, like how's modeling? How's, you know, making the big bucks? I just like laugh because I'm like, I'm sorry, what money? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> It's like, yeah, there can be good money sometimes. Yeah. But I mean, this isn't my be all end all. Modeling has never, I knew from the start, modeling will never be my career. This is not something I'm going to consider seriously. This is not something I will do for the rest of my life, which is why I also went to university. But I think that, you know, tra having the opportunity to travel, to go to these places, like I was just in Hong Kong, to go there, I can, I can network. I can meet so many different people, and I did. So this way, like in the future, I can potentially try and set myself up for jobs like in Asia, especially now given the current economic situation in Europe, it's better to go to Asia because that's where all the money is. So if I'm just looking out for myself in the long run, I think, you know what, I can go, I can travel now, maybe I can make some money, mm -hmm. I can save that up, and then later on I can think, okay, where do I want to live? Where do I want to work? Where can I go? What are my options?